Welcome to Realistic or Not. This is the show where we take famous Hollywood movies and see if the things in the movies are in fact believable in real life. The movie we're going to be looking at today is The Matrix. This was one of the very first movies everyone went out and bought when it came out. This is partially because it was one of the first movies that came out for DVD. We're going to be looking at many aspects of the movie and see if many of the things in the movie are believable. Obviously, since this is a sci-fi movie, not everything in that movie will be accurate to real life. We will see if the scenes in the movie are too ridiculous to make the movie still enjoyable. We will test this by applying parts of the movie to real life physics. Let's begin. Here we have a short clip from the movie where Neo is dodging a bullet being shot at him. Obviously real people cannot dodge bullets like that in real life, but Neo somehow can. Though if we wanted to know the speed of the bullet, there are two ways we could measure it. The first is finding the average speed. The average speed of something is how you find the speed of the trip the bullet took as a whole. You can find this by dividing the total distance the bullet traveled by the time it took the bullet to travel that distance. For example, if the bullet traveled for 5 seconds and covered a distance of 7,500 meters, the average speed of the bullet would be 1,500 meters per second. Another way that is possible to measure the speed of an object is finding its instantaneous speed. The instantaneous speed of an object is how fast the object is going at any moment in time. A simple example of this is the speedometer in a car. A speedometer tells you exactly how fast you're going at that exact moment that you look at it. This is different from your average speed because your average speed and your instantaneous speed can be very different due to changes in speed over time. Although the dodge scene is pretty ridiculous, the bullet seems to be moving the same as any other bullet would in real life. The car also does not do anything that a car wouldn't normally do. This part of the movie is believable and doesn't detract from the fun of watching it. Here we have another one of the many driving scenes in the movie. Let's see if this scene is believable in the real world. Unlike speed, velocity is another way to measure how fast something is going. Velocity is defined as the speed of an object in any given direction. Saying the car was going 40 miles per hour would only be a measurement of speed. If you wanted to turn that measurement into a velocity, you could say that the car is going 40 miles per hour north. You could also call the velocity of the car a vector. A vector is the measurement of something that includes a magnitude, which is the amount of something, and a direction. Saying the car is going 40 miles per hour north is a vector. If you just say that the car was going 40 miles per hour, this would be considered a scalar. A scalar is a measurement of something that only includes the magnitude. Of course, if the car is not going in a straight line, this is called acceleration. Acceleration is the rate on which velocity changes. Velocity can change by either speeding up, slowing down, or changing direction. Here we have some of the cars that are moving in a straight line at a constant speed. That means that there is zero acceleration. There are also some cars that are swerving on the road. This means that they are accelerating because they are changing direction. Of course, the only thing in the scene that is unrealistic is Agent Smith jumping from car to car. This is a sci-fi movie after all, so I guess I'll let this one slide. There are two different types of graphs we can use to graph motion of objects. Let's use the footage of the bullet being shot as an example. The first graph we can use is distance versus time. This graph charts how much distance is covered over time. The steeper the line on the graph is, the faster the object being graphed is going. You know this because the distance to time ratio is higher. This is what it would look like if we were to graph the speed of the bullet over time. The next type of graph we can use is a velocity versus time graph. This shows the acceleration of an object over time. Since the bullet travels at a constant speed when it leaves the barrel of a gun, the line of the graph would be horizontal. This is what the graph of the bullet would look like. Here we have another scene of Neo doing another impossible task. He is trying to jump from one tall building to another, not a feat many of us can do. This is a good opportunity to measure if Neo falls just like any other falling object in real life. The acceleration of the object is 9.8 meters per second squared due to gravity. The formula for free falling is velocity equals gravity times time. The gravity of the earth is 9.8 meters per second. Here we see that Neo takes up about 8 seconds to fall to the ground. This means that if we plug both numbers into the formula you would get 78.4 meters per second is the velocity of Neo right before he hits the ground. This seems accurate when we apply it to other falling objects in real life. 
It is kind of odd how he only took 8 seconds to fall such a long distance, but it is a movie after all. They have to cut some pointless footage out. This would be realistic if it wasn't for the part where he bounces up at the end, but it doesn't really matter. In conclusion, The Matrix is a great movie. Of course he uses such things as speed, acceleration, and gravity accurately to a certain point to make the movie believable. Bullets accelerate like any other bullets, cars drive the same, even objects fall just like they do in real life. Even though you can do a lot of crazy stuff in The Matrix, it's still a believable enough movie to be very enjoyable. I say that the movie is realistic. Join us next time when we take a look at the movie House of Flying Daggers. Will this movie be realistic enough not to ruin the enjoyment of the movie? <laughs> yeah, well.